Number 25. The sides of a small rectangular box are measured to be 1.8 plus or minus 0.01 centimeters, 2.05 plus or minus 0.02 centimeters, and 3.1 plus or minus 0.1 centimeter. Calculate its volume and uncertainty in cubic centimeters. Okay, so let's just sketch a, a quick picture. So we got a rectangular box, right? Uh, one of the sides is measured to be 3.1 centimeters, right? Plus or minus uh, 0 0.1. The other side of the box uh, measures, and it's three dimensional, so let me just draw this part in three dimensions here. Okay, another side of the box uh, measures, let's call it 2.0. 0 0.05 plus, this is all in centimeters, plus or minus 0 0.02. And then the height of the box could be represented as, I'll draw it over here on the left, uh, could be uh, represented as 1.80 1 plus or minus 0 0.01. Okay, so calculating the volume, we have, to, uh, we have a rectangular box, so the volume of this uh, object will be length times width times height. So to find the uh, volume, simply take all the base values of these uh, measurements with their uncertainties. Okay, so 1.80, 3.1, and 2.05, and plug them into the volume expression. All right, so the length of the box is 3.1 centimeters. The width of the box is uh, 2.05 centimeters, and then the height was 1.80 centimeters. So let's calculate the value. So 3.1 times 2.05 times 1.8. That comes out to a value of 11.439 11 centimeters cubed. Now we have to take into account significant figures. So we take the value that has the least. This number has two. And therefore our answer can only have two sig figs. So it appears that the volume here and I'll just write equivalent to, so the volume is, a, is approximately um, 11 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's the volume. Now, uh, we did that first part essentially, calculate the volume, and now we have to calculate the uncertainty. Okay, so uh, remember that in order to uh, find the total uncertainty, we have to do this in percentage terms. All right, so if we wanna find the total uncertainty, of a bunch of measurements together, we first have to find the total total percent uncertainty. And then from there, we can use that total percent uncertainty to then find the actual value of the uncertainty. Okay, so let's take a look at how we're gonna do that. All right, so first thing is, we have to recall the formula. I'm gonna write it down here. So the total, the total percent uncertainty is equal to the percent uncertainty of the first measurement plus the percent uncertainty of the second measurement plus the percent uncertainty of the third measurement plus, right, the fourth measurement and the fifth, however many you have. So we do have three measurements in this problem, right? We have a length, a width, and a height. So first, uh, let's first calculate the percent uncertainty for the, uh, for the length. So I'm gonna write a little one there, okay? And I'm gonna write it now on the uh, right-hand side. So for number one, right? The percent uncertainty, so we think about the formula, the percent uncertainty for measurement one, or the length, would be equal to the uncertainty of the measurement divided by the measurement itself uh, multiplied by 100. So the percent uncertainty of the length is going to be equal to the uncertainty that that length had, uh, which was 0 0.1, divided by the uh, actual measurement, which was 3.1, and then that multiplied by, whoops, that multiplied by 100. Okay, percent uncertainty of the length. So let's throw that into the calculator. So 0.1 divided by 3.1, times 100. So that comes out to a value of 3.226, right? 3.226, etc. Uh, but we have to now round this 
to a value of only one significant figure, because that was the limiting number of sig figs in the numerator. So this comes out to about 3%. Okay, great. So that's the value for the first one. So let's now take a look at the width. Okay, so here's the width now, the 2.5. So let's calculate the percent uncertainty associated with that. So the percent uncertainty uh, with the width is equal to the uncertainty of the width measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. So the percent uncertainty of the width will be equal to 0 0.02, because that's the uncertainty of the width, um, divided by the actual measurement itself, which was 2.05, and that whole thing multiplied by 100. So the percent uncertainty of the width is now going to be equal to, let's plug that into the calculator, 0 0.02 divided by 2.05, times 100, and that comes out to a value of 0 0.9756, and we're gonna to have to round that to one significant figure. Uh, so this actually rounds to a value of 1%. Okay, so far so good. Now last but not least now, right, let's look at the height. So the height of the box. Now we're going to calculate that, so the percent Uncertainty in the height should be equal to the uncertainty of the height, right, divided by the measurement, multiplied by 100. So the percent uncertainty in the height measurement should be equal to the uncertainty of the height, which was 0 0.01, divided by the measurement itself, which was 1.80, and then multiplied by 100. So percent uncertainty of the height now, so throw that into the calculator, 0.01, well, don't throw it in, type it in, but you know what I mean. 1.8 and then times 100. Okay, so we get a value of 0 0.555 repeating, right? So we're gonna have to round that to one significant figure. So this works out to be 0.6%. Okay, so now we have all three percents. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to the total uh, percent uncertainty formula. So here we go, total percent uncertainty will be equal to the percent uncertainty of the first measurement, which was the length, so 3%, plus then the percent uncertainty of the second measurement, which was the width, so we calculated that to be 1%, plus then the percent uncertainty of the third measurement, right, which was 0 0.6, and we add them all together, so we have the total percent uncertainty. And we could throw that into the calculator, right? It's just three, that's 4.6. That works out to be 4.6%, but we're gonna have to round this uh, to 5%, right? That would be the total uncertainty. And the reason why we do that is because of this fact, right? If I add 3% and I add 1% to that, and then I add 0.6%, right? If you notice, I have to cut the numbers here, okay? Because I can only, uh, I only know the first value out to the ones place and the second value out to the ones place. The third value I know to the tenths place. But when you add and subtract, you can only take, uh, or I should say your answer has to match the um, placement of the value that has the greatest uh, number of places, not the smallest, meaning the decimal places. So this becomes 4.6, but we don't count that. So it becomes, we have to use the six to round though the four, so that's why it's five. Okay, so now let's see. Okay, so we found the total uncertainty, the total percent uncertainty that is. So now we basically have enough to finally uh, get to an answer here. So if I were to write out um, what we have so far. So remember, we, we calculated the volume of this thing to be 11 uh, centimeters cubed. So 11 centimeters cubed. And this will be plus or minus 5%. Now they wanted to know the volume and the uncertainty, not the percent uncertainty. So no big deal. All we have to do now is convert this percent into an actual number. And we can do that again by using the percent uncertainty formula. Right, so percent uncertainty 
is equal to the uncertainty of the measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. So percent uncertainty was 5, that's the total, divided by the uncertainty, which is what we're looking for, divided by the actual measurement, which was 11, right, centimeters cubed, and that multiplied by 100. So now after we do uh, the algebra here, 5 times 11, and then divide that by 100. So that comes out to be 0 0.55, but notice we only have one significant figure here, so we're gonna to have to round this to 0 0.6 centimeters cubed. And that is the actual uncertainty. So now I can write, I, I can rewrite um, this measurement with its associated uncertainty as 11 centimeters cubed plus or minus 0 0.6 centimeters cubed. And that, my friends, would be the final answer. Now, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Remember to subscribe if this helped. Thank you very much.